So these are the X-Ball um, full drive um, tracks, recovery tracks. So this is pretty much what you get in the kit. So they come to you um, with two boxes. So I, it's 100, at the moment they're on special for 160 for two, uh, two pairs. And um, I got 10% off as well by signing up for the first time. Um, I've seen the reviews on them and a lot of people uh, do knock them. Um, the reason why is because they're doing them on like ice and it's mostly Americans that do them. These are Australian made. Um, well, they claim they're Australian made anyway. <laughs> they might just be um, sort of assembled or distributed in Australia. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't really, don't really know much about this company whatsoever. But the price point, I mean, 160 and this is the version 3 of their recovery tracks, is pretty good. And what you get is you get your two pairs of recovery tracks. You get this nice little holder. You get straps. This this comes in each, so one of these, one of those, and then one of those. So it comes with stickers, which I am going to put on my canopy just because my canopy's, um, well, it has nothing on it, and I just want to make it sort of mine. And the catalog. These straps are for um, tying to the to the um, recovery boards, and then that way you can pull them out of the sand. Um, and these are just like carry handles. I don't like carrying them like that. I found that if you move the strap to the top and carry them that way, it's a lot easier. There's a few things I've sort of, some weaknesses I don't like in them. These handles here are quite sharp. What are you doing? Dogs is mucking around there. The um, corners here are quite sharp, so you've got to be careful with them. Um, over time, I, I suspect it will wear down, especially when you're getting it in the sand and whatnot. Um, the length of them is pretty good for a, basically a knockoff max track. Um, they're over a meter long, which is good because um, a lot of the, like, for example, treads, I find them to be too small, um, so you don't get your basically runoff. Um, they don't stack particularly well. I found um, the reason why is I'll show you pull this out. If you have a look on the bottom, particularly when I do that, it's hard to see it, but see how much the um, the tread on the bottom sticks out, the traction knobs. Um, so they don't really stack great, um, as you can see. And you've got these two stacked up like that. They, um, they do stick up a bit. And to be honest, when I mount them to the roof racks, or to be honest, I'm just going to chuck these in the back. But if I was to mount them on the roof racks, um, I think I would mount them in pairs instead of on top of each other just because of the height. Because um, they, don't, they don't stack very well. Because these stick out a lot. Um, where other boards, they are a lot, they sit in more and they're kind of designed to stack better. Where these aren't really the best at stacking. Um, you have a shovel on each end, which is good, so you're not limited. And it's also good as well because they are ramped on both ends, so it doesn't really matter which direction you stick it in. Um, it has very deep valleys in it as well, which, um, which is, I guess, a little bit handy um, for whatever reason, maybe easy to clean it. Um, the traction on them, probably not the best. I could see that these melt pretty easily, to be honest. Um, they're very smooth. They're not really rugged like the Max tracks are. These are really good, though. These, um, these little grip points. I actually like that they have them on both ends. So when you do your initial drive up on them, your tyre's going to really grip onto that, which is good. I also do like... The fact that these are, I mean, these are a weak point in stacking, but these are a strong point in terms of traction on sand, mud, or anything like that, because these will grip on top of the sand a little bit and dig into it to give a bit more surface area to sort of hold its own um, and stop it from going flying as you drive up over it. Still probably will bury it, but, um, but at least you're going to have a bit more traction with these protruding out. And we can try and put on this gravel and it, and it does offer some sort of resistance as I'm pulling it. it is you know offering a little bit of resistance and you can see it's pulling the gravel down which is good so um, 
Would I recommend buying these? Just on face value, I can't see the money value side of it. I mean, usually the cheaper brands, it's $160 for one pair and you get four, which is very handy, which means you can have one per, um, one per tire, which I think is really good. Um, so as you can see here, they do, they do stack, but they just stack really high. Um, just the grooves do fit in these, as you can see, they do fit in these wells. So they do match up, but they just stick up a lot more than, say, Max Tracks do. Max Tracks fit a lot more uh, flush than these. So, um, yeah, I think just for the amount of money they cost um, and what you get in it, it's a pretty good deal. There's also some deals where you can get just a single pair and also comes with mounting brackets and all this stuff as well. So I think that's a good value as well. Um, slightly cheaper than this. Um, but, yeah, I... I reckon you should buy them. I'll drop the link down below to the website. But again, I'm not affiliated any sort. I've never even heard of them until I basically searched online recovery checks. <laughs> and that's how I found them. So, hope you have a good day. And Clancy, say hello. I should be a snob. But, um, yeah, hope you have a good day and night, depending around the world. And uh, catch you next time.